Hey everybody, another video here. And what you're looking at now is, I guess, basically a scale comparison. We've got 1 18th, 1 24th, 1 43rd. Jeff's always raring to go. And then, of course, 1 64th. And number one reason for this scale comparison is yes soon i'm going to be going back and finishing my nascar diecast collection videos uh, with the rest of my collection which is primarily jeff gordon second reason for this scale comparison whoa hold on it wasn't an earthquake everything's okay Second reason for the scale comparison is to show you another part of my diecast collection. 143rd scale cars. I don't have a lot, but in a minute I'm going to show you the third reason for this video. There's another one, nice fire chief. Regular all black 57 and this one's kind of cool this is all plastic made in china pullback toy had that thing for years still in my collection i love it but let's get all these guys out of here and the main reason for this 143rd scale die cast presentation was to show the newest member of the 143rd scale collection. And this is always going to have a special place in my collection. It goes well with the 57 Fire Chief. And the black 57 Chevy, the Minnesota State Police car. This car came from the cherished collection of one of the other many nice people that I've met on YouTube in the diecast community. This is from Tomcat Entertainment Network, Mr. Rick Murphy. He sent me this out of his cherished collection of police cars you've got to watch his videos as he uh, displays all of his cars that he's got and he sent me this one with just the kindest handwritten thank you note for some things i sent him very heartfelt note i'm not even going to share that with you because it's uh such a nice note I'll probably have a backyard tag moment if I read that out loud. And then the other thing, and he had no other reason to send this to me than the fact that he was also, besides being in law enforcement, he served in the Air Force. He sent me this wonderful Air Force patch. He didn't realize how special that would be to me. I had an uncle, I have an uncle in his uh, 80s now who served in the Air Force during the Korean conflict. Some of you younger people won't even know what that is. Look it up. And I had another uncle who passed away at the age of 70 last year who was in the Air Force during Vietnam and actually came home with a Purple Heart from Vietnam. So this patch, Rick had no idea what a special meaning that would have to me. And this will be a cherished part of my collection now too. Thanks for watching the video and we'll catch you on the next one.